Streamlight has a new version of this TLR7 flashlight out. Today we're going to take a look at it. So let's get over on the bench and do that. TLR7 HLX Sub. This is the uh, new kid on the block. And what they've done is they've taken their sub flashlight, uh, increased from 500 lumens to 1,000 lumens. And then uh, they've also increased the candela on this thing up to 10,000 candela. Uh, now, just to, uh, just to be clear, if you don't know, as far as the lumens, that has to do with the potential power of the bulb uh, or the... Uh, the LED, I guess, in a lot of cases. Uh, and the Candela, so Lumens is more of a power rating. And the Candela is more about the actual amount of light that it throws in a particular direction. Uh, so Candela has to do not only with the power of the LED or the bulb, but also the reflector and a few different other factors that come into play. But uh, have basically doubled the power on this little flashlight which is really cool now one of the things that uh streamlight has been doing lately that i think is really really cool uh they use cr123 batteries typically uh, but to keep you from having to replace those batteries uh all too often uh, they are using their own little rechargeable style uh, CR123 battery that, as you can see right here, has a USB-C uh, charging port on it. So that is really super cool uh, because uh, you could pick up potentially uh, an extra battery or two, keep those things charged, and uh, would really offset, I think, uh, the cost of having to buy CR123s, especially uh, if you're in a situation where you're using your light really, really often. So this one right here I picked up for the Gerson High Power uh, PI Lightweight here. And you want to be careful when you're picking these up because they do come with multiple mounting options. And the models are going to be different uh, just depending on uh, what the application, what application you need. This one is for uh, the uh, pick rail style uh, mounting, the uh, short pick rail. But they also have one for the, what is it, the open rail, I think, on the P365. And then they have one uh, compatible with like the Glock 48s and things like that. So just make sure uh, you're getting the right ones. Put it on this because one of the things that uh, aggravated me, I guess, a little bit uh, about this light was that it did not exactly fit the uh, Gerson High Power Lightweight here and get that new tight there it is but notice we've got this gap i'm really used to my stream lights fitting all the way up into that trigger guard see how you have this open spot right here well that fitting all the way back and what i found with the um Gerson high power pi lightweight is right in this area is the problem the trigger guard here as it meets the uh back of the frame bottom of the frame behind the rail has a little bit too much of a curve in it, uh, and it just does not line up properly with, uh, yeah, with this particular light. However, uh, I'm still able to more than reach it with my trigger finger. I could always go with that uh, middle finger if I needed to. And then, of course, on my offside, doesn't really matter uh, anyway. I've got a break grip to get to it either way. I guess I could. Go with that finger potentially. Uh, but the way that uh, it fits is not really optimal on this particular handgun. I'm sure on other handguns it would do fine, this particular one. Uh, but for me, again, I'm a big Streamlight fan, so this is not going to be a deal breaker. Real quick, something I forgot to mention is that this thing uses little inserts right here. This little insert will come out. Now, I don't think this is going to fix my issue uh, with the trigger guard on this Gerson high power lightweight. Uh, but potentially if you're having fitment issues, you could pick up maybe a different little insert 
that would make this light ride a little further uh, forward or back, depending on what you needed uh, on your particular handgun. So what I want to do is I want to put some more rounds down range with uh, this flashlight on this handgun. Before I do that, though, I'm curious. Jump down in the comments below and let me know, as far as the fitment on this particular handgun, would that be a deal breaker for you or not? I really would like to know. I think I'm going to be okay with it, but um, that might not necessarily be the case for somebody else out there. All right, still running. You know, I do think that this is going to work. Oh, yeah. 